Hey guys, Dave Glover here from the Dave Glover Show on FM News Talk 97.1. I'm at Weber Chevrolet with my buddy Mike. Good to see you again, Mike. Good to be here. And what we do here with these little video vignettes is we try to walk you through some basic maintenance and safety. Today we're going to talk about how to change a tire. Now in this day and age of modern technology and OnStar and cell phones, a lot of people will think, myself included, you know, if I break down, I'll call somebody, they'll come out, they'll do it for me. But there are places, we were just talking off the mic here, that uh, Mike was caught in Montana one time without cell phone coverage. You gotta need, you need to know how to change a tire. Very basic stuff, but if you don't know how to do it, you're out there for a really long oh, time. Oh, a long time. <laughs> so let's, let's talk through the basics real quick. Here. Very easy. The owner's manual is your buddy when it comes to things like this. A lot of times people don't familiarize themselves with the spare. 90% of my cars nowadays do have a, a space saver spare. Uh, the reason is size and weight. Every pound that I can save is another mile mm -hmm. per gallon I can work to. So uh, pretty familiar, I've been with this since the late 80s, 90s, but in this permutation, a lot lighter, lasts 50 miles, 60 miles to get to where you're at. So that's what we're talking about is if you're out in one of those areas, and you haven't changed the spare in years. Things have changed a little bit. Uh, Safety-wise, they have redesigned our jacks. They move rather quickly, but they have a good ratio on them, so a person of lesser strength can raise this car. Mm -hmm. The main thing is safety, safety, safety. Nobody stops. You can be out in the middle of a lone highway and somebody whiz past you. Vehicle has to be in park. Emergency brake has to be on. Flashers need to be on. Good basics, but sometimes you get in a rush. Mm -hmm. Uh, the neat thing about, again, with those is they're all stored back there, clearly marked. And if you've been checking your spare, or we've been checking your spare for you, things are going to work well. Nothing worse than putting a spare on that's empty. So that's another thing to consider. Uh, basically, we've raised this up, got the lug nuts loose. You always break the lug nuts off when you're on the ground. That way you've got the weight of the vehicle and parking brake helping you. And then once you get up in the air, you can do that. But just like the old movie, I love to watch, when the lug nuts are missing, yes. <laughs> when you take them off, you gotta put them in a pile. And the truth is, most cars are equipped with five. It's a little bit of a safety factor. If, you're, if you do lose one, you can get somewhere safely, because that's the contention that spares, to get you off the road, get to some place to replace or repair it. So at this point, uh, getting back loosened up. Mm -hmm. But you can just kind of spin the thing around, this bad boy I just dearly love because it folds oh. in two, gets you the leverage. Neat. Uh, yeah, very simple, and it's combined. This is part of the jack, raises it up. Now, we, is there a little uh, notch down there for yeah, the jack? Yeah, which is really kind of different. They used to have five or six different parts. This just kind of slides okay. easily, we'll say. Hooks on your jack and you raise the thing okay. up. Because years ago, Pop had the, the bumper yeah. jack, the so, car yeah. would fall. Yeah. These things are very, very stable. We don't really have a big problem. Okay. Safety in mind. Yeah. It's all contained in the trunk, in the trunk area. When you get done with the thing, you just throw the tire in the jack. Most places, all places, after you get a tire replaced, we'll put it back for yeah. you. And down the road you go. Now, I remember back in the days when I really didn't have money to buy a new tire, I would go on these things way past oh, 50 Oh, I've seen a car with three. I've never seen one with four, but I've seen them with three, and I'm going, wow, you have pushed the envelope yeah, but there. do not push your oh, luck. Oh, my. They're, yeah, they're just designed for nice straight travel. Yeah. Uh, the low tire pressure monitoring system is smart enough to know when you do this, you may get a warning, but it's smart enough to know it's on, and it doesn't turn a light on to okay. scare you. So. All right. Piece of cake, slice of pie. All right, perfect. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Dave Glover from the Dave Glover Show coming to you from my home away from home, Weber Chevrolet. Anything you need, maintenance or safety, we got you covered here at Weber. Guys, remember that with your smartphone app, you're never more than a couple of touches away from Weber Chevrolet. Whether it's for contact information or to make an appointment here in the maintenance department, just pop it up, push the button, and you're there.